Triumph's Tiger 900 series, following the footsteps of its predecessors like the 800 models, has quietly held its ground as the other contender in the middleweight adventure bike domain. It embodies all the quintessential traits expected from an ADV bike, effortlessly covering long distances while tackling off-road escapades with aplomb. Since its debut in 2019, Triumph proudly reports sales figures of 45,000 Tiger 900s. However, in the United States, BMW and KTM have dominated the spotlight, capturing rider attention and sales success. But after spending two days test riding the 2024 Tiger 900 GT Pro and Rally Pro, it seems the tides might be turning. The Tiger 900 boasts a unique feature that sets it apart from its middleweight ADV counterparts, the captivating growl of its T-plane triple engine. For 2024, Triumph has boosted the claimed horsepower output of this three-cylinder power plant by an impressive 13%, propelling the Tiger from being one of the less potent options in its class to the most formidable. Additionally, Triumph has made slight reductions in weight, enhancing the power-to-weight ratio. The lineup has also been streamlined, now consisting of just three models, the Tiger 900 GT, GT Pro, and Rally Pro. Will these enhancements be sufficient to catapult it to the forefront of riders' minds? As I navigated Spanish mountain fire roads aboard the Tiger 900 Rally Pro alongside Jeff Stanton, six-time motocross slash supercross champion and Triumph ambassador, the amalgamation of newfound power and versatile chassis demanded my undivided attention. The experience was a thrilling symphony of cutting, thrusting, sliding, wheelie ING, and repeating. One cannot afford to overlook this ADV machine. Tiger 900 Engine and Electronics All three models in the Tiger 900 lineup share common features and architecture, with the engine being the standout element. Triumph introduced its T-plane crank in 2019, delivering a torque delivery and sound reminiscent of a V-twin, coupled with the long RPM range characteristic of an inline-four. Despite its distinctive character, it lagged behind its twin-powered rivals in terms of power. However, that's no longer the case. A redesigned cylinder head features larger intake and revised exhaust ports, along with higher lift intake and exhaust cams, and 15mm, longer intake trumpets. The addition of new pistons raises the compression ratio from 11.3 to 1 to 13.0 to 1, with a primary focus on optimizing the triple's breathing capability. Triumph also eliminated one catalytic converter from the exhaust system, reducing heat and weight while enhancing the flow of exhaust gases. All these modifications contribute to Triumph's achievement of a 13% increase in horsepower. Triumph now boasts a peak output of 106.5 horsepower, a significant leap from the outgoing model's 93.7 horsepower, placing it at the forefront in terms of horsepower within its class. Torque has also seen a notable increase, up by 2.2 pound, FT, to 66.4. The horsepower closely mirrors that of the previous model until reaching 7,000 RPM, after which it steadily climbs to its peak at 9,500 RPM. Despite the enhanced performance, Triumph claims a 9% reduction in emissions and a 9% improvement in fuel economy. Moreover, the valve inspection interval has been extended from 12,000 to 18,000 miles. The addition of a new 7.1-inch TFT display borrowed from the Tiger 1200 enhances the visual experience with its brightness and clarity. Navigating through Bluetooth functions such as calls, audio adjustments, and mode settings, including traction control and ABS, is effortless thanks to Triumph's user-friendly switch cube on the left side of the handlebar. Mode selection is made convenient with dedicated buttons, offering four options on the GT model – Sport, Road, Rain, and Off-Road. The GT Pro introduces an extra user mode, while the Rally Pro takes it a step further with an Off-Road Pro mode. Sport mode unleashes the full power of the Tiger's upgraded horsepower with a responsive throttle. The lean-sensitive traction control intervenes only when necessary, allowing for a controlled amount of slip before discreetly stepping in. Road mode maintains a robust performance with smoother throttle response compared to sport mode, while the traction control ensures stability. Rain mode prioritizes safety by significantly reducing power for enhanced control on slippery surfaces. Off-road mode facilitates sliding in loose terrain and offers improved traction. The Rally Pro's Off-Road Pro mode disables traction control entirely, ideal for navigating through challenging terrain like sand or mud. 
User mode allows customization of throttle response, traction control, and ABS settings according to personal preferences. Upon restarting the Tiger, it defaults to road mode unless the user or off-road modes are confirmed with a simple two-button sequence, a feature that becomes almost second nature during off-road excursions. Furthermore, the ride modes are intricately linked to ABS settings. In sport and road modes, the Continental MKMB EVO brake control module coordinates the braking system, ensuring a balanced and controlled response. Off-road mode separates the brakes and deactivates rear ABS, while Off-Road Pro completely disables ABS. Familiarizing oneself with the two-button activation process is crucial, especially when riding off-road, to avoid unexpected braking behaviors. Triumph notes that while engine power sees only a modest boost below 7,000 RPM, there's a noticeable surge in low-end torque, making for a livelier ride. As you climb into the higher rev ranges, the engine maintains robust power delivery, pulling strongly until just before hitting the 10,000 RPM redline. This contrasts starkly with the previous model, which tended to flatten out at the top end. The newfound top-end rush proves immensely satisfying and practical, particularly on twisty roads where previously you'd have to upshift between bins to maintain momentum. Now, simply push the engine to its limits. There's less need for precise up and down shifts with the quick shifter. Chassis and suspension of Tiger 900 GT Pro and Rally Pro. While the engine remains consistent across all three Tiger 900 models, the GT and Rally variants distinguish themselves with unique suspension setups, wheel configurations, tire choices, and frames, resulting in distinct handling characteristics and capabilities. The GT and GT Pro share a 45mm Marzaki fork with 7.1 inches mm, of travel, offering adjustable compression and rebound damping. At the rear, the GT features a manually adjustable Marzaki monoshock for preload and rebound, while the GT Pro upgrades to electronic preload and rebound adjustment with preset configurations for passenger and cargo loads, with further customization available via menu settings. Both GT models provide 6.7 inches mm, of rear travel and roll on cast aluminum wheels, 19 inches in the front and 17 inches in the rear. Fitted with Metzeler Turrets, next tires optimized for on-road performance. The rake angle is set at 24.6 degrees with 4 inches of trail. In contrast, the Rally Pro boasts a slightly steeper rake angle of 24.4 degrees with increased trail at 4.6 inches. It rides on tubeless spoked wheels paired with Bridgestone Batlax Adventure tires in 21 17 inch sizes. Suspension duties are handled by Showa components, featuring a 45mm fork adjustable for preload, compression, and rebound, providing 9.4 inches mm of travel. At the rear, a fully adjustable monoshock offers 9.1 inches mm of travel, with all adjustments done manually. Consequently, the Rally Pro's seat height is elevated to a minimum of 33.9 inches. 34.7 inches in the high position, compared to the GT and GT Pro's 32.2 slash 33.1 inches. Triumph Tiger 900, GT Pro Road Performance. Our initial testing day unfolded on the winding roads above Malaga, Spain, with a focus on evaluating the touring and sport capabilities of the GT Pro and Rally Pro models. Despite chilly temperatures ranging from 40 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit and less than perfect road conditions marked by dust and dirt, most of our time was spent aboard the GT Pro, delving into its road-oriented features and performance.